Before we begin here, I think it's important to remember that transition questions are pretty much still always following the same pattern, even when it looks like that pattern is a little different because of the sentence structure. Remember, a semicolon is a period. So this is still just like most other transition questions where we have a sentence followed by another sentence and the second sentence starts with a transition word. So the fact that these are uh, not capitalized does not really bother me. I'm still going to approach these the exact same way. So let's, let's look at the sentences, see if we can get some sense of what's going on. Seismologists, whatever, have proposed that the magna, magma fueling Iceland's more than 30 active volcano systems emerges from deep within Earth. The great depths involved mark Iceland's volcanoes as extreme outliers. Many of Earth's volcanoes are fed by shallow pockets of magma found less than 15 kilometers below the surface. So I'm kind of skipping some things here. I don't want to pronounce the names. It's just going to throw me off. But I also like, I'm going to try to read this sentence without this interruption, right? So there's great depths and then there's shallow pockets of magma, right? So there does seem to be a bit of a contrast. So that might take me to choices like B, right? Well, that, that means but. But let's take a look. If we put that in, does it, does it really make sense? The great depths involved mark Iceland's volcanoes as extreme outliers, but many of Earth's volcanoes are fed by shallow pockets of magma found less than 15 kilometers below the surface. It's not quite the right kind of contrast. Nevertheless here, would almost be like dismissing this thing about Iceland. It's basically saying it's irrelevant. But the point is we're trying to emphasize that Iceland is an outlier. So that's the key here. We're, we're not moving away from that point. We're trying to suggest that that's very important, that this Iceland thing, these, these volcanoes are weird and that's worth talking about, that that's noteworthy. So that then helps, we can kind of start to look through the other choices as well and, and see what we get. Now, indeed is weird. In addition is and. So I'm not really going to pick that unless nothing else works because that's not really a transition at all. That is just like, here's another point. But these are clearly related. So there's some relationship we're trying to convey and in addition would be a very bland way to do it. So most of the time when we have these and words, we're not going to pick them unless everything else is obviously wrong. So I'm, I'm not, it's not looking good for C. I'm not going to eliminate it, but it's not looking good. Consequently is a so. And that's a, a cause and effect word, right? So we can try that out too. The great depths involved mark Iceland's volcanoes as extreme outliers. So many of Earth's volcanoes are fed by shallow pockets of magma. Well, the other volcanoes are not like affected by the Iceland one. They're, they're separate things, right? So there is no cause of an effect there. It's, it's not that Iceland's volcanoes being deep affect the other volcanoes and cause them to be sh shallow. It just, it, it's not right. So I think most of you are going to get rid of D pretty confidently, but I do think many of you are going to get this wrong because you pick B because you're just like, oh, it's a contrast, shallow versus deep. <sighs> no, this is just a very tricky question. The answer is A, indeed. And this is a word that adds emphasis. So a, a similar word would be, or a similar transition would be in fact. So what they're trying to do is really, like I said, emphasize this idea that this is an outlier. The great depths involved, nearly 3,000 kilometers, mark Iceland's volcanoes as extreme outliers. Indeed, many of Earth's volcanoes are fed by shallow pockets of magma found less than 15 kilometers below the surface. They're describing, they're, they're giving us evidence that shows why the Iceland volcanoes are outliers. The, the reason is that most of them, many of the others, are very shallow. So we are providing evidence that they're outliers in Iceland. And that's why nevertheless doesn't really work because we're, that would kind of dismiss the point that we're making in the first sentence. But what we're really trying to do is support that point. So it's tricky. It's This is really sneaky. And this is the kind of thing that makes a hard transition hard is that there's almost this like intuitive kind of response. But when we really pick it apart, we see that it's more nuanced than that. I don't really have good advice. I, I, I don't know what we could have done differently if you pick B to kind of avoid that. I, I just think you have to not have that immediate reaction to every single potential contrast and just look at the other choices and think about what's going on. But our goal is to get every single transition question right. If you want to get a 700 better reading, I think grammar transitions and outlines need to be perfect. But I understand if the one error you make is a question like this, this is sneaky. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. If you have any other ways of thinking about it, I'm definitely curious. I, I know that I would have gotten this right on a, on a test, but I, I know that B would have been my first kind of gut reaction. But putting in the but, I can hear it. And, and it's hard to describe, but I can hear that that's not quite right. It's not 
quite saying that there's a contrast between uh, Iceland and all these other things. It's much more that we're talk we're continuing to talk about Iceland even when we're not in that second sentence. And so it, that continuation kind of requires a different transition word. Let me know if you have questions. This is just very hard.